Welcome back to the Laugh Daily Podcast. We're going to be revealing some of our cringiest moments throughout the 12 years we've been on YouTube. We've had a lot, Andrew, right? Yeah. Who's ready to cringe? If you are, say hi. Or hit the like button. <laughs> and let's begin this wild adventure. I don't even know what we're about to watch because <clears throat> Anna threw together a bunch of our old videos. And they're from like 10 years ago. So who knows what's going to happen? Let's watch the first video. A walking through the mall. Having, having so, so much, much fun. fun. This is the best day ever. Yeah. What is this intro? <laughs> The only best store that's in the mall. The yeah, only good store. <clears throat> Just check it. They got snow. Back in the day, Andrew and I were doing daily vlogs and had no strategy behind what we were doing. So as you can see, we're not even showing our face. There's no introduction. It's just, what? I mean, just look at the title of the video. Skateboarding adventure. Yay. Hope you go viral. <laughs> Shades. I always thought some of these uh, look like halo masks. That one back there. Oh, I just want to wear this in public and say I'm from Halo, you know? You want to say Not you're from Halo? Not too many nifty shoes here, but... <laughs> you think if you walked around with a snowboard goggles and said, I'm from Halo? Yeah, I really didn't think that statement through. How cool, <laughs> man. I don't think anyone would be like, dude, no way. I'm from Halo. Look at my goggles. Which character are you? <laughs> Master. <laughs> That's a, I still like that skateboard. Yeah. Like the Denver Nuggets? Repping all their colors. Oh, we still haven't seen our faces. Day. What? Oh, oh, we did for the intro. Yeah. Oh. What am I? What is my hair? And my hat? I'm so embarrassed now. No, I wasn't filming. Oh, you're not filming? I'm right? not filming. You promise. <laughs> Why are we wearing our hats like that? On our way to Goose Gossage to film some insane tricks. Yeah. Hi, Mom. <laughs> so we're at Chick Fil A now, and the line is big as eight. <laughs> Just a quick <laughs> snack. Before. Oh, still to this day, we we make up random statements, but where did that come from? <laughs> Why did we use that as a comparison to things back in the day? I don't know, man. Oh my gosh. Boarding. So pretty much if I get in a, if I get in a car rack, uh, we both, I'll have my face on this metal steering wheel. I didn't think and to turn down the good. music. No. Nope. Yeah. It's a sore guy. And that'll hurt. Thank you for choosing chicks on me. Can I take you order, please? Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, can I get a spicy chicken sandwich? And that's it. Just the sandwich. Okay. Any ketchup mayonnaise or sauce? Uh, can I have some ranch and Chick-fil-A sauce with a water, please? Okay, a spicy sandwich and a water, 338. We'll have that for you at the window. Thanks. My pleasure. 338, is that still the price today? No. Oh. Welcome to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Gosh, dude. Hi, welcome to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> at the skate park. What kind of bit was that? <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of questions. Like, And then the transition. Because we took the footage, put it together, and thought, we got to upload this. Quality content. People are... <sighs> oh. Yeah, let's just keep watching. <clears throat> and I'm just enjoying uh, some nice food before we go. There we go. Good sandwich. <laughs> Do you pet your food now? I haven't done that in a while now. Uh -oh. Next up on today's tutorials on how to do skate tricks, we have Justin Stewart going to teach us how to do an ollie. All right. Oh, whoa! Sorry. Yeah, okay, he's going to show us how to do the ollie now. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, sorry. We could have just cut the first one. Yeah, but then it'd be even shorter video. We're already at three minutes. Six-minute video. Ooh. Guys, 
We're like in our grandmother's kitchen right now. Oh, you know what's interesting about this one? I think I remember when we filmed this. Because I was living in Denver at the time. And I had class, but I decided I didn't want to go. So instead, I we just I stayed back and we filmed this skate vlog instead of going to class. Really? I don't remember I remember that. Yeah. Well, anyways, <laughs> we did skateboard a lot back in the day, so makes sense why we're going on a skateboarding adventure, even though we're not that good. Hey, it's the thought that counts. All right, let's uh, go to the next video, which is Rich Man Lifestyle Prank. Here in my garage, just bought a new car. Now, people are always asking me, what is it like to be a billionaire? Well, today I wanted to take you along to show hair? you what it is like yeah. to live a billionaire. Yeah, probably. Life. And then maybe later you can check out my TEDx talks. <sighs> Let me give you a quote. When we did here. this video. There's really people proud. who have money and there's people who are rich. <laughs> I am both. So what do you say? There you are. Can you explain that? <laughs> there's people who have money. And people who are rich, and you are both. Because <laughs> I'm rich and I have money. <laughs> you know, we found the greatest hey. things on our trip to Buenos Aires last summer. We found a, a vintage Merlot, uh, some <laughs> leather chaps, and we took home some stallions to Wellington. Just thought I'd share that with you. Oh, great story. Thank you. That's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's. It's quite the life, I must say. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, well, thanks for the nuggets. My pleasure. Love you. Flux. Oh, uh, yeah, my name is... Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Dude, I love this video. <laughs> There's so many classic <laughs> moments and... Oh, it was just so fun. Because we've done a lot of like characters over the years. And this was one of those characters that was always an enjoyable thing to play. It always comes across as like, you're so pompous. I, I mean, that's... peasants. That is the point. <laughs> because know, we are rich. But that's now. what makes it kind of cringe. Yeah. Uh, where's you? Whew, you can use a drink. Stroll in the park. Ah. <laughs> Why the robe? I just want uh, a stroll. Yeah, huh? yeah, sure. You want a pour me? So many times you're like, you're like, like, you're like subtly you mind pour me a glass? breaking you character. Pour, you make you a pour glass? Yeah, for me, please. Yeah, Beckett Yates. That's my name. <laughs> what a nice That's guy. Good. Huh? Thank you, boss. Here's to feeling good all the time. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Digby Yates. Uh, Ring any bells? Joe Brenner, no. That's okay. Nah, that's all right. Back in my garage, I just bought a uh, <laughs> new Lambo, and I'm looking to. Well, I can give you a little analogy. Okay, a lot of this inspiration <laughs> was from Ty Lopez. If you ever got his ads, he's in his garage flexing with all his books and sports cars. So part of partly this character is inspired from him. That's true. Thank you. You're welcome. Here, um, so say you have a fish tank and you have an exotic fish in the tank, and you pair it with another exotic fish, uh -huh. they both kind of look average. So I'm trying to look for a basic fish to add to that fish tank. You ever think about that? I've never heard this no. analogy. I like oh, it. it's OK, yeah. I so, like it. And with that basic fish in the tank, <laughs> the exotic fish value <laughs> goes up tenfold. Are you yanking my chain, man? No. <laughs> Do we have a deal? What are we dealing on? I don't know. What are we? Uh, no. <laughs> could you apply this uh, analogy to other areas of your life, potentially? I haven't actually thought about that. But it kind of makes sense if you think about it. Do you have uh, an example that we can, a real life example that we could apply? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say we have a really cool merch. And if we come out with other really cool merch, the merch just kind of is basic. But if you have really yeah. cool merch and then you pair it with some very bad basic merch, the cool merch is tenfold cooler. That actually works, especially if they're <laughs> sitting right next to each other. You're like, what is this? But we'll this. have four people on camera. One person's wearing the exotic merch and the other three are wearing basic merch. You're going to think the exotic merch is so much cooler. We might have our next promo. Oh, man. 
All right. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't made like a proposition uh, yet. Why don't you make me a proposition? For a guy like you, Turbo. Absolutely. You got your piece, you got powdered blue jacket. Dude, Turbo all the way. Well, let's have a deal. What are we dealing on? You, you just it? made me a deal. Are you able to pick her up or? I'm not to get somebody else. <laughs> Where is Janice? Janice, we have the big meeting at five. We, <laughs> we went over this already. No, you haven't talked to me about it. Janice was supposed to set everything up. That's why she's my assistant. I think you should fire Janice. She's not doing her job very well. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be fired if she doesn't get to this meeting by five. We have the big six-figure deal. We have those out-of-country guests yeah. that are going to be our future associates. So yeah. It's kind of a big deal. Yeah, that's great. That's great. <laughs> so you're not able to do this? <laughs> I just want to thank you guys for attending my seminar earlier. <laughs> Meeting with it means a lot to have you know so many people come up and support me. So thank you for the okay. Oh, th this was so awkward. Yeah, and the story about this: we are at a hotel, and they had an event going on there. I do not remember what the event was, but there was a lot of people there, and I think they were just finishing up. So there was this gal, I think, just at the back of the. Was she uh, the presenter. She actually might have been the presenter. So she was just uh, waiting until everyone left because she had a bunch of stuff on her table for selling purposes. And then we just show up. We said, perfect. It literally was a perfect opportunity. And then you get this reaction. Oh, gosh. Matt, you're welcome. Yep. I was not here. What was your seminar? Oh, it was a seminar on how to turn $100 into a Fortune 500 company, which I've done multiple times. So. And how do you turn $100 into a million dollar business? Well, I can't tell. In one sentence or less. <laughs> one sentence or less? Knowledge. <gasps> Good answer. That's one word. Because knowledge mm -hmm. is knowledge is power. The more you, oh, dude, the more power. you knowledge learn, the more power. you earn. I love it. That's great. Well, thank you. So why are these people taking a how to turn a hundred dollars into a million dollars seminar? Because a Fortune 500 company. Well, I mean, who doesn't want to learn how to but I mean, maximize their profits? <laughs> <laughs> I had to correct her. She was messing up. Are you a billionaire? My That's seminar. Yeah. That's, That's a great color on you. You're the man. <laughs> Three eights. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah, no problem. But don't be blinded <laughs> by all this money. Oh, don't worry. I'm good. I'm <laughs> set on money. I wonder how much they're like buying into this. I don't know, but uh, it's hard for me to watch. I'm like so cringed. Just memories of doing that. Why was it so cringe for you? It's because, like you just said, do they actually believe this? And I'm acting as this guy who's like this pompous and... <laughs> <laughs> billionaire <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but like trying to be authentic it's not like too on the nose like i'm joking around yeah that's what makes it cringe uh hard to do you can turn that into a fortune 500 company if you apply your knowledge i am going to remember that piece of knowledge good thank you guys <laughs> wish we could interview this gal now and see if she's applied that knowledge it turns out she's like the CEO of some huge company. <laughs> yeah, I went to this guy's seminar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Flag. Ah. The private jet flew in and yeah. just got back from a trip from the Bahamas, and it's not settling well with me. <laughs> like a bottle of 100-year-old scotch, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, that's a big change in elevation. It is. The thing is, I don't get any downtime. That's pretty good. I have to fly out next week because I have a meeting with some Hong Kong associates. I did want to let you know I parked my car out in valet, but I didn't see the valet guy. No, we don't have one of those. Are you next week? Serious? That's yeah. plenty of downtime. <laughs> oh, Janice, could you move the car? They don't have valet here. Oh, I just at Wendy's. I just never have been here before. I oh. I assume that every place has valet. No, not a lot of places do. Really? Yeah. She's staying in the car. Yep. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We know this was a different style of prank than what we normally do, so let us know if you liked it. Also, before you go, check out these new J Stew Studios t-shirts. We're selling them for a to be continued. Time, seven more days. <laughs> if we sell enough of them, we're going to come out with a gold foil edition. So check them out, and we'll see you next time. See you guys. Looks like a lot of people liked it. We got 62,000 likes. That's pretty good. 3.5 million views. For seven years ago, that's pretty good. Uh, the next video on the agenda is J Stu Studios news interview about viral video from 10 years ago. 
Oh boy, this is going to be a Anna doozy. Anna is laughing behind the camera. There must be a golden nugget in here. Oh, let's do it. It's only two minutes. Let's see what we got. Well, the latest viral video craze has ties to Southern Colorado. It is called falling, and you might have guessed the subjects in the video intentionally. Hey, this is awesome. First of all, because this was our first mega viral video ever, and then we get the news interviewing us about doing pranks in stores. <laughs> kind of and a big in, deal. Yeah, keep in mind before you see me that Whoa. I have never been on the news before, all right? So give it... <laughs> Is that what we're laughing at? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... I almost... I already know what's going to happen. I look <laughs> extremely boring. I'm bored, I mean. You look extremely boring. <laughs> I look boring. I sound bored. And I'm, okay, let's see. Okay, let's I, see what's about to happen. Trip themselves up in public places. Now, Andy Cohen is falling all over himself <laughs> to uh, get you up to speed on this fad. One <laughs> eighteen-year-old Justin Seward graduated from high school last May. He's <laughs> That's <laughs> like your this your highlight. Why? Well, yeah. Why, why did I have to point that out? <laughs> he graduated from high school. Look at him now. <laughs> He's a big deal. He graduated <laughs> from high school. Camera. This is some of what he and his friend Jacob have been doing. <laughs> That's not even Jacob. That's not Jacob either. None of this is me <laughs> or Jacob. I've just always loved being in front of the camera and making people laugh. We've just been acting okay. like that forever, and it's just fun to come have fun and make videos with him. This particular video, huh? Falling is the New Coning, has gone viral, racking up over a million views on YouTube in a month. Okay. In a let's, month, Yeah, let's too. talk about that. Holy cow. Ten years ago, viral, a million views was like a mega deal. Think about it. They had to make a whole news story because we got one million views in a month. We get a million views in like a few days now. You know, where are the news anchors? Why aren't they flocking to our doorstep? There would be nonstop <laughs> news stories if this was the case, because there's viral videos every day. That every is interesting. Day. I like it. Justin says he's even become the leader of a falling community. I've had to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, your own cult? I don't remember saying that. Yeah, I'm what you'd consider a leader in a falling community. No, I definitely didn't say that. We were making falling... It was called Falling Community, right? Oh, yeah. Where we take fans' falling videos and compile them. But I never told them, oh, yeah, I'm a leader in this community, by the way. <laughs> I'm falling, and I've gotten videos from all around the world, from Belgium to Germany to Australia. His mom, Tiffany, says, I don't know what to make of it other than I know that it's who he is, and I'm glad people enjoy his sense of humor. I've had to live with it, and our family has since he was little. So what Mom, about the stores but they did and this. the mess? We asked District Attorney Dan May to look over the clips and see whether what Justin and Jacob were doing was Thank legal. you, Dan. From a legal standpoint, there's no crime, I guess, in uh, videoing yourself falling down or surprising people. Otherwise, you Thank you, Dan. If we uh, ever get sued for filming in public, I'm pointing to this video. <laughs> he says things might be different if the kids actually damage the merchandise, but Justin says they always clean up after themselves, and if they break it, they buy it. We usually leave. They never kick us out. They just come up to us and talk to us, see what we're doing. Yeah. But we're never, we always pick up after ourselves and make sure we respect what they have to say if they want us to leave. Or and they plan to continue falling until it falls out of fashion. Andy Cohen, <laughs> News 5. <laughs> <laughs> the one guy, the cereal aisle there, he never Didn't even turned crazy. around, no. <laughs> couple observations, really big Cheerios box. Yes, Saw it was. That, and then it was interesting <laughs> that when he was carrying the uh, flat screen TV, that fell on him. That's right, he wasn't so, going to break yeah, that. Uh -uh. Not, not, not that risque, but that is funny stuff. Thanks, guys. Oh, man, that's good <clears throat> times. Uh, so you can see how excited I was for the interview. Yeah, they, they, I'm a leader in a <laughs> falling community. They send me videos from all around the world. No smiling, no uh, just dead pan tone. <laughs> yeah, you and Jacob both. Uh, dude, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, man. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Wait, let's look at the comments. Are there? Is there any, like, top comment, more J. Stu makes awesome videos two to three times a week. YouTube, time to recommend this random one from nine years ago. <laughs> that was one year ago? What? So it seems like no one really was concerned about my tone. Well, it amazes me how much you guys changed. You found excitement. Yeah. This okay. must have got recommended a lot. A lot of people top comments. Who else got this recommended nine years later? We commented 10 years ago. Yeah, I cannot believe he said that. 
I have no idea where he got 22 from, but I am 19. Me and Jacob had a crack up about that because it really does make me look like a dummy. Oh, silly newscaster. Is there really a big difference between 22 and 19? Yeah, I'm a big dummy if I'm 19. Next video. Oh, oh. no. The J2 Studio <laughs> Show. Do you remember this, Andrew? The art of breaking. <laughs> Didn't we only do one episode? Yes, because it was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Why what what was our thought this? process behind this? Because we watched some art of uh, wasn't the art of something, art of nature, or some type of weird documentary. We said, "Well, we can make like a mockumentary, basically, about the art of pranking." Yeah. Again, this is going back to we had no strategy. Any and all ideas were accepted and never <laughs> denied. So, episode one, yes. <sighs> Ah, that's nice. I consider myself a prankster. I've been called a prankster or a comedian in the classical sense, which, for example, could relate Taking to the high off, standards eh? of Will Ferrell or Jim Carrey, because they both have made huge impacts in the field of comedy. I know. We're, okay, we're, we're trying to be funny, but it's, it's coming across as, like, I'm um, pompous. A good theme. Yeah. <laughs> Just a normal guy who likes being funny and likes the aspects that revolve around comedy just like any other person. Uh, being in public really helps me study the way people react to certain things and what makes them laugh. I wanted to make a contribution to comedy by giving people another reason to laugh every day. Honestly, I didn't plan on having anything big happen, but I just wanted to do something that somebody wouldn't do or hadn't done for that matter. Pranking, there's a lot to it actually. A lot of people just think like, oh, I'll just grab a camera and I'll go out and prank my friends. But in reality, pranking comes with a lot of good planning. We have to plan out everything we're going to do from Wait, starting. Are we being serious? I can't. I didn't even know what There's pranking no was until I actually looked into it by searching videos on YouTube. And <laughs> maybe I could do these videos my own Gangnam style. <laughs> So pranking basically is when you go out into public. <laughs> no, and what? You <laughs> Your own, own Gangnam style. Or buy someone to generate some sort of reaction. I, I remember like this was like one video where we actually had like a full script written out. You're right. We wrote out all of these jokes or whatever these are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's a joke. The <laughs> videos and Gangnam style. Were, we just thought, man, this is funny. <laughs> good or bad. It's usually done with some sort of hidden camera or small device that you hide within a card or wherever you want to hide it. Uh, 15C, take one. And action. <laughs> and how much is that? Uh, Alright, cut. Uh, a little out of character on that one, but uh, there we go. <laughs> Do a little bit more enthusiasm next time. I think we'll be good to go on, the, on this scene. Alright, 15C, take two. Action. Why is this a hundred dollars? That is perfect. Thank you, you so go. much. That is what I was looking for. Of course, with every good video, there is the chance of failure. Actually, there's a very good chance of failure when it comes to pranks. What? Action. Capri Sun. Why are we highlighting this prank out of all the pranks we've done? That's good. Well, this wasn't a separate prank. This was for the Art of Pranking show. Yeah. Okay. I think, right? Because we didn't... Well, maybe we did make me, making movies in public. Yeah. All right, cut. All right, back to one. That was really good, guys. We're going to try it again, get a safety take. Guys? And what do you do when you fail? You get up and try it again. Especially Look with at Walmart. that hair, no, by the way. To go. You say, fine, I'll be back later. And that's what you do. You don't give up. Hi. Uh, yeah, uh, 2B, take one. And action. <laughs> All right, cut. Um, actually, the dialogue and this guy is so nice. Yummy. That soda was really good. So if we can <laughs> what that. soda? Take two. And action. <laughs> I waited for my wife to decide what kind of toy she wants for my grandson. Oh, yeah. Okay, He's so bamboozled right now. Mine was yummy. I bought a soda. It was really good. 
so if we could <laughs> leave the poor guy alone. <laughs> we don't know where it came from or what it's related to, but it seemed to gain a lot of positive attention when looked at from a viewer's perspective. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> From there, we saw through many trial and error experiences that many people didn't have a good sense of humor. And because of this, we learned that we need to laugh a little more and uh, live life without worrying about the little things, which helped develop our YouTube channel into what it is now. And this is where our story begins. What? <laughs> how, how does the story begin there? Oh. Okay. Wow. Oh gosh. Hey, keep in mind, at this time we were in film school. We had to like take inspiration from what we were doing. Yeah, I didn't think that one through either. <laughs> A little higher quality though, and we, yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, spilling popcorn on people. So fun, and we have something to tell you. Oh, we about do this have video. this one a special story, but we have a cool intro. We had a guy design this intro for us. Gotta say, it's pretty fresh. Go ahead. <laughs> we need to bring that back, bro. <laughs> oh, dude, God. I am so sorry. Let me come clean this. How did this happen? It's <laughs> phase, oh, dude. Dang it. Okay, that scene you just watched, Andrew and I dubbed over the whole thing. Yeah, because we got home and there was no audio. The mic wasn't turned on. So we recreated the scene in our apartment for the audio. And no one has been able to tell because we did such a good job. We had to keep it in there because that guy's reaction was just priceless. No, we were like, dang, there's no way we can get a clip like this. So yeah. Yeah, he didn't he didn't make a sound either. So that was I, Justin just being oh because like, oh, <laughs> it, it made it seem more angry and I lowered deepened my voice too. So there you guys go, a little Easter egg in that video for you. I am so sorry. Okay. Please don't be mad. Oh, no. oh, freak. Oh. <laughs> Even her laugh. She's so cringed. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. We're in college, by the way. <laughs> Please don't hurt me or tell on me or anything. That's all right. Okay. Yeah, I just sneeze and <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. <laughs> we thought uh, spilling popcorn, popcorn or cotton balls was going to be the best option of doing this type of video because any other object would probably hurt somebody. Yeah. Popcorn was so light, we're like, no one's going to get mad at us. It's just popcorn. This is the one video that got us banned from uh, University of Denver. So that. <laughs> That did something there. <laughs> Another Easter egg. <laughs> it says spilling popcorn on people, and half of them aren't like on anybody. It's so hard just to full popcorn. send, just like pouring popcorn on people. Yeah. But I like how everyone thinks it's funny. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, I just sometimes I get the sneeze attacks. Gosh, we were. Do you guys want some popcorn? I have some popcorn. Ouch. We were so oh, awkward, dude. Why does this happen to me? <laughs> <laughs> why has this happened to me? Are you okay? Sorry, I just wanted to see if you guys want any popcorn, but... No, we're good. Thanks, though. You sure? Yeah, th never mind. This is on the ground. This is a bad idea. <laughs> you see, you're about to lose it. Please 
Do not tell my mom about this. <laughs> yes, the <laughs> random statement <laughs> killed me. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but hope you're not pissed at me. Oh no, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a joke? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. See, they loved it. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Ah, oh, freak. <laughs> oh, jeez. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Dang. I hate it when I spill popcorn everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what sneeze was that? <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> Popcorn. Are you allergic to popcorn? No, I'm good. <laughs> Goodness. I'm really sorry that just it's happened. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh man. Oh, there's Someone a balcony. Is that you? Yes. Is that you? Yes. Did you yes. Is that you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Gosh. The thing with the pranks we do, we would never know if people are going to get angry or not. So I think we were, I was under the probably assumption that people are going to get angry or chucking stuff on, chucking popcorn on people. But we everyone was friendly. <clears throat> yeah. So, but that's not always uh, the case with our pranks. Just, even their reaction in this one, they're cringed. Just because of how awkward <clears throat> we are. Oh, one of our biggest videos of all time. Our most requested <clears throat> video of all time. Back in the day, everyone just constantly wanted us to go to the library and eat more food. And 38 million views. Let's see how they react. <laughs> all right. Do you guys want some? There's a lot here. Doing this in person is definitely awkward. <sighs> that sound. I think she was mad. <laughs> <laughs> Just the egging so people much, on. So much of this prank, I was dying behind the camera. I don't think I've laughed as hard in my life. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, too close? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Scoots two inches away. Dude, that's such a gold angle. I'm facing the wall. <laughs> For some reason. Yeah, why are you looking at the wall? Such a meme, <laughs> meme moment. <laughs> Excuse me, would you like some bread? Would you like some bread? No, thank you. All right, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Mm. a normal salad, you know. <laughs> it sounds loud on the mic. <laughs> the speed at which you are consuming croutons. <laughs> oh, I was digging those croutons. But in person, it was even louder. I mean, we have the mics right here, so you can hear it pretty loud. But this library is so quiet. That's true. You can't hear the echo throughout the book hallways. So crunch master. So it's kind of hard to film these pranks because like if you film in one side of the library, probably the other side of the library is going to hear it. And it's just like, oh man, good times. <laughs> man, gosh, Andrew burping would always kill me when <laughs> filming. <laughs> Leaning Look how, how far, far the gap is. Because when people wouldn't give us a reaction, we would scoot closer to them. I can't study without a good snack. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> the fryer. Mm. This is so. 
There's the thumbnail. <laughs> hmm. What are those people doing sleeping under the desk? Yeah, she's reading, but they're laying down on the floor. Talk about being cringe. They're the ones being cringy. Yeah. Yeah. Does this feel like it was eight years ago? <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know how you do those burp swallows, whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Before we go, we want to tell you guys about a little surprise. No. <laughs> a surprise? There's another minute left in this video. The whole surprise? What is the surprise? I'm dying to know. I think it's know. the tour de prank thing. Oh. And this got 38 million views with that ending? Dang it. Wow. Sometimes watching these videos just brings back so many good memories because we always had such a good time doing this. I wish we could do another loud. Well, I remember because we were going... We were flying to Europe when we uploaded this. I remember being in the security line and being like, dude, this thing's like going viral. I kept updating it every like five minutes. Yeah. As we were waiting for security. Man, you think you could do another loud eating? Sure. <laughs> you think you could do it better than that? Ah, this is just too classic. I guess there's only one way to find out. I feel like if, like watching you do that was like envisioning I could just go absolutely nuts. You in could? The There's no way. Yeah, just watch You that. said that, you said recently that your prank days, like, you can't do it anymore. No, it, You've it, lost the touch. What would it, yeah. The anti-cringe. Yeah, I feel like partly, <clears throat> part of that is because of when we would get in trouble. That was the worst part of doing pranks. So if a library would be like, hey, you can do a video here, totally fine. I would go ballistic. I would ah, throw food all over myself. I think you're capping. No. I think hey, so. Hey, if there's any libraries out there that you want to allow us to do this, let me tell you, you'll have a show. What's, what do we got here, Andrew? All right, we got worst prank ideas number four. Don't you love and miss the simple title days? That's true. Just worst prank simple ideas number four. Simple thumbnails. Yeah. So this is just, we're just reading people's comments in public, basically, so. Excuse me. I, uh, I really need to poop. <laughs> yes. And you can't find the bathroom? I actually have no idea where the bathroom okay. is. Okay. I'm sorry. It's all right. I mean, there are a whole bunch of bathrooms over there, but I don't think it works. All right. What do you look so... I don't know, dude. <laughs> oh, because I have to poop. Yeah, but you look like a hunchback. <laughs> oh, man, my balls hurt. What? My eyeballs. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Grandma. I love you, Grandma or Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> she's wanting to desperately get out of there. She can feel the cringe. Look at her. She's like, I gotta get out of here, but I can't get up. <laughs> oh, Grandma. I love you, Grandma or Grandpa. Are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> I am Grandma. My, my yeah. Grandma? Nope. Oh, oh gosh. So I thought, uh, this I missed. Yeah, for <laughs> some reason, I thought you were my Grandma. Nope. Oh. But I could be. Oh, you could be. Yeah, I was wondering, do you th can, he, can he smell my old socks? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> do you want to ask him for me? Uh, <laughs> oh, my. Oh, that's so brutal. It's okay. Oh. So, yes or no? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's got to get out. Know. The cringe is too much. Oh, wait, what's your name? What's your guys' names? Nancy and Steve. Steve. Oh. Not quite the right people. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen Uranus, the planet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. You haven't seen it? No. Oh. Not personally. Why? Plus, the way I have the mic looks like my nipple is just like <laughs> huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is that? Dude? I don't know. <laughs> oh, not personally. Oh. Uh, I was just, I was just wondering. Excuse me. Can you uh, de-rest me to a different state? 
Sorry? Dire uh, I just need directed to a different state. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. Uh, you don't know? No. Well, what should I do then? I don't know. Did you hold this for a second? <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, what? <laughs> oh. What are you doing? That's yours. No, I don't want it. Oh, <laughs> oh my <laughs> What is that dude? You think you could do that again? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know how I did half of some of these things that we did back in the day. Finally he looks. Are you wearing a diaper? Are you okay? No. You're not? No. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> uh, I think you have a spider in your food. Say what? I thought you had a spider in your food. Oh, no. Oh, yep. Yeah. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, jeepers. <laughs> okay, phew. False alarm, boss. Yeah, no worries. All right. <laughs> yeah, you thought it was funny. Before any specific? Oh, not really. Um, your zipper's down. No, your zipper on your pants. Oh, I hear it. <laughs> Why? Think fast. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? Kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just panting him. Guys, I found my new house. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> nuts <laughs> you know funny thing is there's uh much more cringy moments than that i can just there's a lot of cringe in there but there's even worse cringe we've experienced oh man i don't even want i to. can think of different categories of cringe too that we could make whole episodes on oh what's a category like close calls of almost getting beat up oh yeah yeah <laughs> we've had a lot of those moments but mainly you Oh, For whatever shoot. reason, you're right. Why is that? I don't know. Maybe you just knew these people were going to be very angry, so you'd make me do it. Yeah, because like when we go into stores, would would I tell you who to go get, or would you be like, All right, I'm going to go get that person? It kind of depends because we take turns with the mic. So if it was your turn, if I could see somebody that I thought would be like good, or if I had a good camera angle for, yeah. I could tell you like get that person. Yeah, just for whatever reason, you just picked all the guys who wanted to fight you, so. Fishing for compliments. I can already feel the cringe <laughs> in the title. I don't even remember some of these. Let's see. I just, I feel so fat. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know, like. <laughs> Why? I don't like, my, I don't like my figure. Are you Okay. I'm, yeah, I I'm love fine. her I'm response. So sad, but Are you okay? I don't want to eat this, but I'm like, I'm trying you to. You can eat it. You're so skinny. You mean that? <laughs> it's just, it's just funny how like it actually is working. I know. <laughs> You're so skinny. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Oh. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, I wish my hair wasn't so lame. <laughs> it's great. Oh, really? <laughs> I do. I think mean, it's darling. Oh, well, thank you it's, very much. It's darling. Wow. <laughs> very cute. I was just looking. I love this guy. I just, I really w wish I was handsome, you know? <laughs> well, I just, I don't right? know, like I, I'm saying you're not. <laughs> oh, you don't, oh, you think I'm handsome? <laughs> I don't have a clue. Well, I just like, I don't really go on many dates, so I was just like, I don't oh. know, that, that was just on my mind. Oh, I see. So, <laughs> so I had to I tell him. A compliment from a stranger. Man, I wish I looked good enough to be able to apply for a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean because there's nobody here? <laughs> Even that, too. I just feel like I just look so terrible. I can't apply for a job because they won't hire me, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You, well, you've been working, so that'll. Don't mess everything up. I know. I wish I just had a nice smile, you know? <laughs> You've been working, so that'll mess everything up. Look, he's he's feeling the cringe, so he's just 
letting whatever he thinks come out of hey, his mouth. Hey, once cringe meter it gets to red, you never know what's going to happen. Just, you start bumbling words. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just don't think it's really that nice. <laughs> what do you guys yeah. think? Uh, oh, gosh. It's fine with me. <laughs> oh, really? It's friendly. Yeah. Oh, good, gosh. I really thought I was just kind of dumb looking, and I, I don't know. I mean, that's why I don't have any friends. <laughs> They're just <laughs> laughing. <laughs> the awkward laugh. No I had a good friends. Sense of style. You know what I mean? What do you mean? I just wish I had a good sense of style. I feel like my clothes are just absolutely terrible. Who cares? Who cares? Well, some good advice. Yes. I don't care. I don't either. Man. <laughs> I wish I wasn't so chubby. What? Chubby? What are you talking about? Me. I. I don't know. It just okay. annoys me that I'm so chubby. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I always thought I was chubby, so. No, no, far from chubby. Man. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, I wish That's I not even a compliment. Name, like all of you guys. I just have a dumb name. What's your name? My name's Justin. Oh, it's the best name ever. What are you talking about? Really? Yeah. You mean that? Yeah. Yes, sir. No. Nah. Like you, sir. <laughs> you guys didn't have to say all these compliments. So you're saying I have a normal name and I'm kind of handsome? <laughs> 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 the cringe. I just wish I could get a compliment from a stranger because I look like a pile of trash today, I feel like. <laughs> really? Yeah. You think so? Yeah, pretty stylish, aren't you? Thanks. I'm already feeling better. Okay, I'm glad. Oh, hey, bros. I wish I looked as cool as you guys. I mean, you look pretty cool, too. Oh, I do? Oh, yeah. Oh, you didn't have to say that, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Jimmy Neutron hair. Yes. He just instantly. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, I wish you guys. She's black and white outro. I wish you yeah. guys would leave a comment for us. And we're going camping this weekend. And I wish you guys would come over to our bar channel. <laughs> the hey, that's a creative ending there. right there. Yeah, we're going camping this weekend, so yeah, I wish you'd watch our other channel and subscribe. Oh my goodness. Oh, guys, we would be here all year watching the amount of cringe we've uploaded through the 12 years we've been here. Oh, sheesh. We might have to do another episode of even worse cringe. Oh, we could do it. We could do cringe. If this was like level orange or yellow, we could do a level red cringe if you guys want. So. That title, red level cringe. <laughs> cringe level red. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for watching our videos and supporting us. This was super fun, and uh, I just love you one more of this. Don't forget to laugh daily, and we have fun episode coming soon. It's a fun thing. Stay tuned. Goodbye. <laughs>